Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT JAM 2020. So we are here with this problem 55 of your paper. It's a problem from vector calculus. So have a look. Let C be the boundary of the square with vertices 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1 and 0, 1 oriented in the counterclockwise sense then the value of the line integral so what we have to do we have to find the value of the line integral and uh, we have the this uh, this c which is a boundary of this square all right so firstly see this thing that if you have this square boundary of the square it's a closed curve right this is the first thing that you have to see now because it is a closed curve that means what you can do you can use a theorem very important theorem all right to evaluate line integrals so let me draw the graph in order to show that it's a closed figure then you will be able to understand what i am doing so what we have we have this point 0 comma 0 then we have this 1 comma 0 then we have this 1 comma 1 then we have 0 comma 1 so then what we will get we will get this right so this is our c curve so they are saying that it is going counterclockwise that means it is firstly going from 0 comma 0 to 1 comma 0 then it is going from 1 comma 0 to 1 comma 1 then it is this then this all right so this is your uh, square that you have now what i will do i will introduce green's theorem here in order to solve this question all right so let me write the statement of the green's theorem so see this is the statement of the green's theorem what it says it says that if c is a positively oriented what is the meaning of positively oriented it should be anti-clockwise direction piecewise smooth closed curve and let d be the reason enclosed by the curve c so in this case the c is the boundary of the square what will be the d d will be the area of the square all right if p and q have continuous pass first order partial derivative on d then this happens so this is the most important result for this question that integral of p dx plus q dy is given by double integral of del q by del x minus del p by del y all right so see in your case you have smooth functions x square y square x square minus y square this is your p and this is your q so there is no question at all of differentiability also there is no problem with the orientation of the boundary of the square it's positively oriented it is closed all right so it is piecewise smooth see this thing is piecewise smooth it is not a smooth at all but uh, it, it is piecewise smooth from here to here it is 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 smooth so it is satisfying every given hypothesis in this green's theorem that we will be using so according to green's theorem what will happen this integral over c x square y square dx plus x square minus y square dy is given by del q by del x let us see this is your p this is your q so what will be del q by del x del q by del x will be 2x what is your del p by del y so it will be minus 2x square y all right so this is finally your double integral that you have to evaluate over this square all right now see what is the what is the equation of the line that is lying on the uh, uh, x-axis it is y is equal to 0 what is the equation of this line it is y is equal to 1 what is the equation of this line it's x equal to 1 and here you have x is equal to 0 so let us keep the limit of y first so y is moving from this line to this line so it is moving from 0 to 1 also x is moving from 0 to 1 therefore you will place 0 to 1 
टू एक्स माइनस टू एक्स स्क्वायर वाई डी वाई डी एक्स और राइट सो लेट अस इंटीग्रेट वाई फर्स्ट सो इफ यू विल इंटीग्रेट वाई फर्स्ट देन व्हाट विल हैपन यू विल गेट एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर जीरो टू वन डी एक्स now see this is y square and this is y so when you will place it will have no effect so what you will get 2x minus x square or when you place zero you will get zero let us now integrate this you will get x square minus x cube by 3 so when you will place limit inside it you will get 1 minus 1 by 3 which is equal to 2 by 3 all right so now let us see The value of two by three. After that, we can answer. So two by three is equal to zero point six six. That is why in your exam it was written that they are going to take values between zero point six six five to zero point six seven. All right. So it lies in between them. So let us write your answer. It is zero point six six. All right. So this will be. Considered as the correct answer for this question, so it is completely easy question, totally dependent upon this um, this Green's theorem. And see, it is two marks question, so sometimes it becomes very easy to solve part C question because they are just calculation based, nothing, no brain is used at all in this question. All right, so thank you.